Hello, fellow foodies. What's cooking? Now, I used to live in the United States for five years, and last year I spent six months living in the UK. Since both of them are English-speaking countries, I didn't expect there to be so much difference in what people call the things in the grocery store between Americans and British people. Seriously, like, I don't mean tomato tomato kind of difference. It literally seems like the Brits use different dictionaries. I mean, when you first learned about the famous British food, fish and chips, this is what you're thinking about, right? Well, meet Walkers Crisps. It's nothing but Lay's chips with a different name. Yeah, what Americans know as chips are called crisps in the UK, and what Brits know as chips are just steak fries in the states. But seriously, why? <laughs> Now let me show you some examples so that you understand my confusion walking around supermarkets in the UK. I mean, are they the same thing with a different name or a different variety that happens to look the same? You know what they are? Shrimp. Not if you're in the UK. In which case, the prawns. If a shrimp crosses the Atlantic, it becomes a prawn. Trust me, I spent half a year in the UK. Didn't see a single shrimp over there. Next up is eggplant, and it's called um. Aubergine. Aubergine. Yes, aubergine. I know what you're thinking. It sounds made up, doesn't it? Well, good thing I didn't leave England without proof. Next, we have zucchini. And this is what it's called, courgette. I don't know if you can notice something in common between courgette and aubergine, but they're all borrowed from French. Listen to this: the courgette de et de aubergine. I live in the French-speaking region, and these words are indeed what I see in the grocery store. Then there's snow peas, and it's called mange tou. I think it's pretty obvious that this word is also French, and it means eat. All, because unlike the common English peas that's canned or frozen, you can also eat the pod. Bok choy are called pak choy. Unlike tomato tomato, the first letter is actually different. They're similar because they're actually both taken from Chinese, but slightly different dialects. If you're a fan of Asian food, you may have seen daikon, and in Britain they're called muli. Daikon in American English is a word borrowed from Japanese, and muli in British English is a word borrowed from Hindi. It's no surprise since India was once under British rule, and Japanese products have a long-established tradition of invading the American market. And finally, if you're a fan of Italian food, surely you would know arugula. Strangely, they're called rocket. So you may have figured out some patterns here. The name of a kind of food can be borrowed from different languages. For example, zucchini is Italian, and courgette is French. Or they can be borrowed from different dialects of a language. For example, rocket and arugula are both Italian, but they're words of different dialects. And I guess people wanted to be creative once in a while and invented their own words. Like eggplant, a plant that happens to look like an egg. Oh, and if you're wondering if there are different things with the same name, you've got bacon. American bacon and English bacon are not the same. Is is that it? Is that? It? Yes, Gordon. That's English bacon. You know, I didn't want to believe the common stereotype, but after seeing it firsthand, I have to say that stereotypes exist for a reason, and that British food really is a huge disappointment.